hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be trying out an eyeshadow palette from the beauty glaze brand so this eyeshadow palette is called the mocha palette and it's part of a range of other eyeshadow palettes and the names all seem to be based around like drinks or food and you know that makes me happy because I love drinks and I love food so that's great so they've got the mocha palette the brownie palette they've got I think they're even the raisin palette and I'm not a big fan of raisins unless I've kind of sprinkled some in my all brand just to spice it up a little bit like no raisins oh dried grape no thanks I love grapes I do not want them dried out. I have ever came up with the idea of a raisin. Oh, do you know what, Bob? Let's just we'll leave this this grape out on the windowsill for a few weeks. Well, let's just see what happens. And then they come back a few weeks later. It's just like all dried out and wrinkly. And they're like, oh, great! A wonderful, nutritious snack. Who ever thought of that? I don't know. I always buy raisins for the kids. But by the way, I am going to show you the palette in a minute. But Raisins is one of those kind of healthy, quick and easy snacks that I I always buy loads for the kids and I give them like these little boxes of raisins and then I always find them everywhere around the house and the car still full because they never eat them but I keep buying them because I keep thinking yes this is a very healthy and quick and easy snack but do the raisins ever get eaten? No. Anyway so this is the mocha palette. So you've got five match shadows and you've got four non-matte shadows three of them are metallics and the other one is a pressed glitter so this palette is very deliciously warm it's giving me very like autumnal kind of grungy vibe i don't know i say that every single palette is grungy even when it's like a rainbow palette i'm like oh it's a grungy palette i don't know why i think that but i suppose in a way you could make any any eyeshadow palette grungy no you couldn't but you but i think you can apparently so i recently tried the melon palette by beauty glaze that was part of their palette line that was named after fruits again huge admiration because i love fruits so yeah anyway i really love that palette that's what i was going to get to before i started distracting myself talking about fruits i really love that palette i created like a sunset kind of look and I, oh my gosh so impressed with the quality of the shadows i don't want to harp on too much about this here but i did go through a long spell of boycotting the beauty glaze brand if you want to find out more info about that if you've um, not seen any of those videos i created a series of videos because beauty glades were found to have asbestos in one of their eyeshadow palettes so oh my gosh i got on my high horse rightfully so because asbestos is nothing to be messed with i was ranting i was raving i boycotted the brand threw all of my beauty glaze palettes out the window not out the window i put them in the bin but it sounds a lot more dramatic when i say threw them out the window but no i didn't do that because my neighbors already think i'm crazy enough and they've definitely seen me wandering around topless so many times so you know i i don't want to look any crazier than i already do a lot of time has passed i feel confident that you would think oh my gosh i just look here's me just on a wing and a prayer but i i'm cautiously optimistic i'll say i would just hope that after having such a huge scandal um and such a massive compliance violation that they they should have massively increased their quality checks and I just hope that the brand is safer than it's ever been now. So anyway, just to let you know, after trying the melon palette, I've not developed any awful coughs and I know asbestos takes 40 years to, you know, kind of kill you but um so far i feel good like it's been two weeks and i feel great so uh, yeah okay so today i'm just gonna be creating an eye look and as i'm doing so i will be giving you my thoughts on the palette so without 
further ado, let's jump right in. And I know someone is going to ask me, this top, which I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm when are you five? Like, really? But no, this top I, I spotted in H&M, could I resist it? No, because look at that, my little pony. Oh my gosh, I love this. Do you know what? It's a really good thing that I, I had boys and not girls, because if I'd had girls, I would just be, I would be hijacking all of their clothes. Oh my gosh, as always, I completely forgot to do the swatches, so we're going to do that right now. Okay, so I think I'm going to begin with swatching the metallics first. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, these feel very soft, very creamy, uh, just very kind of smooth. Oh, do you know what? I, I just, I honestly could not keep away from Beauty Glaze because... Other than you can be, I feel like Beauty Glazed definitely create the most beautiful quality eyeshadow palettes on AliExpress and they're so affordable. This one costs, I think it's £2.39 to buy with an extra 33 pence added on for shipping and these metallics, I am going to just go out on a limb here and say they're on par with my Pat McGrath metallics and Pat McGrath, in my opinion, creates the most beautiful metallics in the world, but these are just as good. Look, do you know what? I know you don't believe me. You're sat there just shaking your head going, Anne Winata, you liar. So I'm going to prove it. So watch now. They won't be similar at all and I'll look like a right dick. But I've got my little Pat McGrath palette here and I'm going to go in with this gold shade, which I feel is maybe well it's not very similar to this one but it's similar enough so i've got some of the shimmer there and i'm just going to swatch that next to this one can you see what i mean i know the shades are like very very different so i'm not comparing the shades but in terms of like the, the metallic glow i mean if you compare the pat mcgrath to all three they're all giving us the most in terms of the metallic glow factor and in terms of how they feel you know they're all super soft super creamy if i said to you right spot the pat mcgrath would you spot the pat mcgrath i mean the difference that i am spotting is the three beauty glazed shadows definitely have more like you can see the little like micro glitter particles in there uh, whereas the Pat McGrath one is just more of like, it looks like a um, metal that's just been melted down. But I mean, from a distance, can you see a difference? Can you see the glitter? I think not. Okay, so next we are going to swatch the mattes in the palette. Oh, they feel so soft. Oh my gosh, so, so soft. They almost feel like a, cr a cream. These are some of the softest shadows I've ever felt. Look at how opaque they are and beautiful. I'm just going to swatch these here. So we've got that guy, that guy. Do you know what? These to me are not like, you know, like your typical flat matte. These definitely have a little bit of a satin look. You can particularly see it in this uh, brown shade. It just has a bit of a little bit like a sh not sheer but a, a sheen to it. It's not super sheen but it's just like midi sheen like tiny bit of sheen but it's there you know it's there so oh my gosh so pigmented so smooth so creamy i am questioning are they powder or are they oh honey's just text he said got you a super surprise for later oh my gosh honey what could it be makeup clothes food do you know what it probably just he shaved his balls or something which i'm um, what could my surprise be though? Oh my gosh, I hope he's not just shaved his balls because he's done that before. And honestly, like, I was not very surprised. T TMIing now, definitely TMIing. Oh, I best reply to Honey's and say, oh my gosh, so excited. What could it be, Honey? Please don't, don't let it be anything to do with your cock and balls. Okay, so I've been going on and on and on and on and on to Honey's since we got together that I think he should get his nose pierced because I think nose rings or just like studs, just general nose piercings are just so hot. 
on guys. And whenever a guy comes on TV and they've got a nose piercing, I always say, oh, I like his nose piercing. And then I, I sometimes just say to honey explicitly, honey, will you get your nose pierced? Go on, please, honey. I would love it. Do it just for me, honey. Anyway, I, I kind of never thought he was going to do it. But then there was like a part of me that always knew he would because I, I knew that I would wear him down. Anyway, the surprise was he went and got his nose pierced. I was so happy about it. They look so hot. Okay, so for today's look, I am going to use my little under eye. They're not under eye. They're, well, they are um, like under eye protectors. But um, I'm going to use them because I, I've not used them in ages. I, do, I go through like phases with things where I'm like, oh, I'm using stuff all the time. Thinking it's like the best thing that's ever been created. And then I never use it again. That's kind of how... how my journey went with these but i really i just want to use them today to create quite a i always say this quite an intense look and my looks are never intense never but anyway so there we go they're on right so guys i've decided that the first shade that i want to use today is going to be this orangey kind of peachy shade so i'm going to use that all around my crease but i'm going to take it up quite high and i'm also going to take it you know, quite far inwards as well. Okay, so we got some on the brush. We're going to tap off the excess. And we, my friends, are just going to pop this on. By the way, right, I just wanted to ask a question. Does it annoy you when I call you guys? Like, is that annoying? Is it, like, patronising? So the reason for me asking is that whenever I'm editing my videos and I'm like, hey, so guys, 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 and I always say, oh my gosh, like, I wonder if it, if it annoys, annoys the guys watching the video when I call them guys incessantly. So if you could let me know, like, just give me some feedback. I'm not going to be offended. If you say, oh yeah, do you know what? I actually don't like it. Then just let me know because I've just kind of got into the habit of doing it now and and I'm just thinking, is it annoying? I don't know. Oh, and I know a lot of you guys are missing a uh, coat hanger, you know, in the background because it's like some of you guys who've, who, uh, there's, there I go calling you guys again, but yeah, um, people that are new to my channel, which there's not a lot of because apparently no one subscribes to me anymore, but I mean, I'm not bitter. No, it's just, you know, I'm happy with what I've got here and that's just fine. But anyway, a lot of my viewers who have been around for ages um, miss, you know, the old days when I used to film in my bedroom and not quite often you'd see coat hanger in the background on, on my radiator or, or even, you know, sometimes you'd see a pair of my knickers just hanging, hanging there, loitering in the background. And, you know, I, I don't know, sometimes I think, should I just have not move like should I just still be in the bedroom because I I really like having this dedicated space within the house where everything's kind of here ready to film whereas in my bedroom believe it or not I, I did used to have to like tidy up before filming a lot of the time coat hanger he just didn't get tidied up but I don't know I just feel like do you prefer like the the, the look of, yeah, I just, I'm just filming in my bedroom. Or do you like this more kind of like professional polished look? Anyway, guys, right, so I have, I've done the, the first part of the look and wow, am I impressed with this shade. The thing about Beauty Glaze that I always seem to notice that however the shade looks in the pan is always what you get on your lid. Whereas with a lot of other eyeshadow palettes, the shade never comes out looking quite as... Uh, poppy or like opaque or like vibrant on the lid as it does in the pan but f just like a beauty glaze you know what you see in the pan is what you get on the lid honestly we're gonna go in with camel brown we're just gonna pop camel brown um a little bit lower than uh where we've applied the orange so i'm just gonna keep it in the crease and then i'm going to add a bit of this beautiful chocolate brown which i've only just noticed actually has some little kind of silver or maybe gold oh it's impossible to tell but it, I don't know if you can see, but it definitely has some little 
glitters in there so yeah i'm gonna pop that just on the outer v here so uh, yeah i'm gonna just get to that now so i got the boys it's pit oh i've gone in with the wrong shade i've gone in with the chocolate brown and i meant to go in with the camel brown oh my gosh well, I got the boys' ears pierced because they really wanted to get their ears pierced. And I, um, I was just like, yeah, okay. Like, why not? Because I want them to be free to express themselves however they want to. I mean, obviously, if they said they wanted a face tattoo, I would be like, no, not yet. Wait till you're 16 for that. Next, we're going to dive right in to the beautiful chocolate brown. And as I said, I am going to be focusing that on the outer kind of V. So I'm going to get a smaller brush, which is this kind of dome shaped one. Whenever I say domed, I always think of a penis head and I don't know why. But anyway, so I'm just going to pack that colour on in the outer V. And then I am going to take it through the crease. And I'm going to bring it inwards. I think, you know, as you as you get older, I think you have to be a little bit more, like, kind of heavy-handed, but also extravagant with makeup application because I just feel like if I pussyfoot around my, with my makeup, you can't really see anything because my, you know, my, my eyebrows are just dropping, like, a centimetre every week, it seems. My, my lid space is just disappearing by the day. And I'm getting all these, like, wrinkles and textures and lines on my lids. I have to be creative. I have to just make sure that if I'm applying a colour to my lid, I, I need to go, go hard. I need to get it on there. I need to go higher than I would in my 20s. You know, you've got to really, like, show your eyes who is boss and that you mean business. Just because you're almost 40 doesn't mean you cannot create some bomb diggity eye looks. But you do have to approach makeup application very differently, I feel. And I'm only just starting to realise that now that, you know, I can't just be, like, popping a little shade in my transition and expecting fireworks i have to take it higher and be bolder and just be ott because otherwise you're not going to see any of my hard work you know what i really like this shade i just think this looks absolutely gorgeous it's the most perfect warm tone brown see how i'm i'm kind of like recreating my lid space here i'm on a mission to recreate my lid space. So I'm just using these kind of gentle little circles just to blend this shadow in. Oh, do you know what? The fact that this shadow has this kind of sheeny look to it, uh, it, it just looks very flattering on the lid um, because it, you know it's not dry or patchy or anything like that. It just looks very, very expensive. Okay, so uh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do the other eye and then I'm going to go under my lower lash line with the same chocolate brown. I'm going to go in hard, I'm going to blend it out, it's going to be intense and it's going to look grungy as So it's a really, really tough choice, but the metallic that I think we're going to go with today is going to be, I was hoping that if I just like looked at them, I, it would just jump out at me and I'd be like, yes, but I could easily go with any one of these. But I think today I am, oh my gosh, I just don't know. Should I go with the pink? Oh my gosh, I just don't know. I'm going to go with the gold. Okay. Yes, I'm going to go with the gold. If I don't aside now i never will i'm just going to use my finger oh just to apply look at this oh gosh now i would say that this uh metal 
What, why, the, why the fuck does my light keep going out? What? What? Okay, it's back on, but for how long? We just don't know. So, as I was about to say before, the light decided to distract me. This metallic definitely has some kind of like emollient feel to it. It's definitely not a powder. It feels it feels kind of creamy. And look how beautiful. Just just look. I mean, just look. Wow. The only negative thing I will say though about it, it definitely does accentuate texture on the lid. So if you like me have these kind of you know a lot of lines. Well, not lines, but creasing is probably the most appropriate way to describe it but um yeah if you if you you see when i'm just like this looking down when the um eyelid is kind of stretched you can't really see the texture but when i look up like this all of a sudden you can see that texture that's what i mean i just feel like my hair looks such a mess it totally looks like i have been dragged through 10 hedges frontwards and then backwards and then frontwards again oh it's so beautiful that is so beautiful. And you know what? I'm really loving how the chocolate brown uh, complements so well with that beautiful orange shade. Oh, yeah, I love this. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to carry on applying this beautiful gold. Okay, so does it look really dark in here? Like, what the, what's going on? It's a beautiful sunny day outside. Or is this just my mind playing tricks on me again? Do you remember that time I got all in a massive, like, fluff? 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 Is that the right word? Faff. I think maybe I meant to say faff. But when I was all, like, stressing out because I thought the lighting wasn't good and it actually was fine. But, um... Okay, yeah, next I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner and I want to just create a little bit of a wing today. So I created a quite a thick line. Next, I'm going to do my mascara. For mascara, I'm of course going to be using the Lash Princess by Essence. I've tried many other mascaras, but this is the one that I always end up going back to. I'm going to be applying some black gel eyeliner to my waterline. This one is by the Eye Magic brand. It's called The. Oh, it's just called the Waterproof Soft. This is the very best, most intense, most long-lasting, easy to apply black eyeliner that I've ever tried. And again, it's just the one that I keep coming back to. Okay, so on the lower lashes, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This one is the very best mascara for the lower lashes because it dries down super fast and it doesn't budge. So you don't end up with any of that kind of panda eye, kind of smudging under eye craziness that you know you get with most of the mascaras like actually this is the only one that i found that really works on my lower lashes and just apply it and just trust that the mascara is staying right where it needs to be on my lower lashes not on my not on my cheeks also the wand is super kind of thin and narrow and the bristles are very short and very kind of rigid and i feel like this really really helps to apply the mascara on you know the very tricky area that is your lower lashes this is just the ideal wand and the ideal mascara formula if you've not tried it on your lower lashes and like me you've struggled with all the other mascaras smudging i just highly urge you to give this one a go i've got the one in the silver tube it's the false lash version but i'm pretty sure that any of the telescopic range will probably give you really good results i have just bought the black 
ultra black version so i am hoping that one um, is as good as this one for not smudging okay so next we're going to be applying some faux freckles i'm going to be using the same technique that i always use which is to use a liquid lipstick using the tip of a makeup brush i stamp on the liquid lipstick and then i use my fingertip to spread it around my cheeks and nose don't forget the nose I'm going to be using one of You Can Be's lip liners from their fantastic Ladies Night lip set. These lip liners are the best I've ever tried. So easy to apply because they're just so creamy. And um, yeah, I use these all the time. They're now my favourite lip liner my favourite lip liners in the world. So on top of the lip liner, I'm going to go with uh, the shade Bleached by Lime Crime. No, I'm not. I'm not. I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to be using uh, one of my Pat McGrath lipsticks. This, not that one though. I'm going to be using this one in the shade Peep Show. Um, and it, this is what it looks like. It's just kind of like a, a peachy kind of nude. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use that one. Huh? And finally, I'm going to be applying Rodeo Drive by Ofra as my highlighter. This is my most favourite highlighter in the world. Did my hand look like it was coming up really like sneakily then? Just like, oh, oh, there she is. What is she doing there? This is just the most beautiful light gold highlighter. I'm just thinking I must do something with my hair to make a little bit of an effort, you know, just so that it's not looking oh, so crazy. So this is the final look. I must say that I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette and I'm so, so, so impressed with the quality of the shadows, the metallics, smooth, creamy, metallic and glowy. And the mattes were very easy to work with. Like they just blended out with very little effort they look great and they were also really easy to apply it's so so affordable it's not even just a bit affordable it's super affordable the quality is on par with eyeshadow palettes that are much more expensive like three four times as expensive this palette sits up there alongside other favorite palettes that i've tried i can find no criticisms and it can do no wrong in the back of my mind though you know like particularly when I was saying about I have no reservations in recommending this palette to you in my mind it was just like this voice was saying asbestos 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 which you know that obviously is something that I want to make sure that you are aware of that it was an issue that Beauty Clay definitely did have they definitely fecked up but I personally like and I can only speak for me personally I feel comfortable trying their makeup and using their makeup but I think that you you have to be armed with the information so that you can make the choice that you feel most comfortable with and I do appreciate and respect the fact that there's going to be so many people that after the asbestos um, situation they're never going to want to touch beauty glaze products with a barge pole again and and that's absolutely understandable so you know just i'm just gonna leave it up to you but uh, in terms of this part i fucking love it so anyway guys i'm gonna go but i really really hope that you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one and do you know what i've just realized as well like i was there saying oh yeah i'll take, do something with my hair i've got to make a bit of an effort all i did was take the bobble out i've not even brushed it maybe i just need to like not be so skanky all the time and just try and maybe make more of an effort i just don't know but anyway